Hi YouTube, it's Shayla with Shayla at Home and I'm showing you guys what I'm having for lunch today. Now, the time is 2.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but in Seattle time, that's three hours behind, so it is only 11, 13, 12, one, two, yep, it's 11.13, so technically it's lunchtime somewhere. So I'm just not eating lunch today. Just fix the kids and the husband's plate. And now this is my plate. Salad, and it's just this bag of salad mix here. Um, the giant bag, fresh selections uh, from Kroger. This is, yeah, Kroger brand. Um, the grilled chicken, um, I just kind of stir fried it up a little seasoning on it, a little bit of oil in the pan, and just heated it rather. It was frozen chicken uh, already cooked. And then we're going to do the bacon bits here, croutons here, and the ranch dressing. And let me just say, I probably told you guys this before, but I am not uh, caught up on name brands. But when it comes to my salad dressing, ever since Kraft changed from, um, I don't know what they did. They changed the appearance of their bottle. Um, and they changed something in the ingredients. I don't know exactly what it was, but I could taste it. Now, this has been a couple years, but I will not fool with craft dressing because it does not taste the same as it did that I remember um, when I used to. And I, really, the only dressing I'll mess with is ranch. I do like a spicy Italian sometimes when I choose, but if I ever eat out, have a salad, pretty much 99% of the time, I'm getting ranch dressing. But I do not do craft, and I don't care for any other brand. I've tried uh, Ken's because I've been able to get it for like 29 cents with coupons, so I have stopped up on that but nothing beats an off-brand ranch <laughs> as crazy as that sounds I cannot do craft dressing I'll eat it if there's no other choice I won't be happy about it but I will eat it but this is Kroger brand dressing so my husband knows he went and got this um, for me and let me just show you here in my refrigerator I also have another off-brand dressing this now this is not really that great and when it says ranch or uh, dressing and dip they mean it. it's supposed to take you know do both um, jobs but yeah this is some off-brand that I got from oh gosh when we first got here I'm trying to think where I got that from I don't even remember um, oh the Food Depot it used to be Winn Dixie here now Food Depot um, so yeah I got that but um, and it tastes okay but this off brand it could be um, a Target it could be a Safeway it could be Kroger it could be Fred Meyer it could be whatever store brand Walmart I'll eat it but the actual craft I just I can't I don't know what it is so anyways I just want to show you guys what I'm having for lunch and yesterday is Monday and I said I was starting back on my weight loss journey today and I am I'm trying to eat right eat healthier one thing I do a couple things I want to know one I am not going to be as hard on myself as I was the first time I think that had something to do with my demise my downfall and um, if you guys remember my last weight loss video or the last couple weight loss videos I did with my weigh in which I will do every Monday I did not weigh in today because I could not get to my scale it is packed and tucked away but what I'll probably do is go ahead and weigh in tomorrow, um, my official morning weigh in for the week, and then we'll do it every Tuesday. So Mondays come and things get busy and crazy. So if I forget or something happens on Monday, then I'll have Tuesday to remind myself. So I will do a weigh in tomorrow. I'll have my husband dig my scale out because it's still packed away. And I'll do my weigh in tomorrow. But um, I was saying as far as me getting off track, whenever I was going back and forth across town, it took me two hours in traffic to get to um, do some on the job on-site training for the job that I work now um, and that threw me like I don't do that brick and mortar I don't drive every day back and forth to a job like that's just not me that's not my life I'm not about that life and you guys know I don't do that so when I did have to do that for like three or four days maybe it was three days like two different weeks um, like two days one week and two the next that threw me completely off like I was in traffic just trying to get there two hours to get there then I had to drive back traffic wasn't as bad so it was only an hour then I had to do it again another day getting up getting the kids to school trying to do that and then trying to rush home to get them straight from school and then I had another training in the evening for my customer service business and it was just crazy and that threw me off and then we were in the process of getting ready to move so I got all off track so now I'm here. I said once I got here and got settled, I'm pretty much settled. I'm going to get back on it, but I'm not going to be hard on myself this time. Um, and I thank you to Tangi Henry. She's here in Atlanta. Hey, Tangi. Um, she's just so supportive and so great. And um, she works out and she teaches people how to work out. And she does a lot of weight loss challenges. She does uh 
like the 5K, 10K, something K runs. Um, she's just really active. She's a nurse and she's just really in the health and wellness. And so I really appreciate her support and her just being genuine. You know, some people that work out, they get all bothered and get all crazy. Like, uh-uh. Uh, I always forget to turn the camera around to myself whenever I'm telling you guys something. So, um, after I show you guys whatever. But, so yeah, she's just really, um, sincere in what she does. And she was like, no, you can't be hard on yourself. You know, you have to do this, you have to do that. And it's okay to eat out sometimes. It's just, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, just different tips and things that I really, really appreciate. Um, because she's serious about what she does. And some people that are real serious about working out and weight loss, they get all crazy and be ready to jump on you and beat you down if you don't you know, stick to a regimen or a plan, and she's just not like that, and that's just from all her online personality, and I'm pretty positive it's the same in person, hopefully I'll get to meet her soon, um, but yeah, so, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing today, so I'm doing the grilled salad, um, and I showed you my ingredients, did I show you the cheese, um, I love, love, love cheese, um, yeah, and so I'm still not doing any soda, I did just pour my husband some of this, um, the A and W ten you saw in my coupon video, and I had some yesterday, and it actually tastes okay. But again, the root beer doesn't have any caffeine in it, um, and the sugar is only ten, so it, it didn't do it for me really. I mean, it was good, but you know, it's not a soda, and um, so still no soda. Still, that was my biggest biggest thing: sodas and sweets. So staying away from the soda. Still, I'm very proud of myself for that. And um, yeah, we're gonna get started back on the weight loss journey. And there's a speckle in my lens I'm so sorry um, but I just want to update you guys I will be getting back on the weight loss I will be working out and um, if you guys are just now following me and finding out about my weight loss journey my workouts are at home with um, on-demand aerobics and kickboxing and all that stuff that they do online and that's what I'll be doing I don't do the gym eventually I'll work my way up to that but I was doing really good and I had lost I think a last count I had lost like eight pounds um, and that was really good so we're back at it and here we go so um thank you guys for your continued concern and those who asked about my weight loss and if i'm still on track if i'm staying on track if i if i'm gonna start back i really do appreciate it um keeping me accountable that's the whole reason i started doing it on youtube um for the accountability and then to encourage other people because some people think you can't do certain things because you're a certain size, a certain skin tone or shade or, you know, with your hair a certain way. And I told somebody not so long ago, you know, I'm going through a natural hair transition, um, as you guys can see or probably tell. And if it was not for me knowing that my videos help somebody else or are to inspire other people and it's not just about me getting on camera and listening to myself talk, it's really about a purpose for somebody else, um, I wouldn't do it. I would hide. I wouldn't get on camera because my hair looked a certain way or I didn't have my makeup on or couldn't do my makeup right or my face was fatter than what I think it should be. Um, you know, if I was concerned about all of that stuff, I would do nothing. I would never get on camera. I would never inspire anybody. I would never, you know, do the things that I do like y'all have seen me at the lowest as far as appearance <laughs> and not on purpose it's like you know I do care but it's just a matter of it's me it's real this is what it is and some people don't mind you know getting dolled up every time they do something and that's fine I love that I think that takes a lot of effort I've always said I don't wear makeup because that that requires you to get up extra early and I'm not a morning person I'm a late night person but I'm not a morning person so I'd rather sleep the extra 10 or 15 minutes rather than get up and put on makeup so um but you know now that's something that i'm transitioning into um with all my skin changes and things like that so um i really do appreciate all of you guys for watching all the new subscribers i see you guys coming through my email thank you so very much and also you guys um i just realized i've been on twitter officially three years now on my one twitter um platforms i have a couple of twitters but the one i mainly use um three years and it's shayla s-h-a-y-l-a underscore smart s-m-a-r-t so follow me on twitter i am on instagram and i'm going to be much more active now that i have a phone that allows me to do instagram and that is shayla at at home um on instagram shayla at home so follow me on instagram facebook is shayla smart and um you know give me some feedback like this video if it inspired you go ahead and subscribe if it brightened your life and um go ahead and comment and let me know what you think any questions any comments any tips that you can give me on the weight loss journey would we'll love to hear them and until next time thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you soon all right bye